I'm, I'm pretty good at getting domains. You know, I've been in the internet game for a while. So, you know, camping domain registrars and stuff are, are not so bad. <laughs> ChrisTitus.com. I will say someone did camp, um, oh, what was it? ChrisTitusTech.com, which is kind of wordy. And I never really wanted the domain. But then someone hit me up in an email and said, like, hey, this website's going to malware site or something. And I was just like, why are you typing that in? And I'm like, ah, I guess I should have grabbed it back when I started, but I never did. Best place to get domains would be Namecheap. I love Namecheap. Uh, I I would have them for an affiliate link. I'd give you, I think I actually have them as an affiliate, but whatever, just go Namecheap.com. Like their payouts are like 15 cents. There's like no margin in what they do because everything's so darn cheap. You can get dot not, dot .com domains for like six bucks. And, uh, well, that's like a, a special, I think, uh, normally it's like $10, but they actually have pretty good stuff. I would say if you're going to do it, stay away from their hosting. Uh, I would just grab the domains and registrar, stay away from like premium DNS or any of that crap. So just buy them just domains, uh, hosting and WordPress. Ugh, gross. Uh, same with like premium DNS. Like, what are you doing with your life? Just use Cloudflare. Like every other person with a brain so buy domains here don't use any of their other services that's why i'm like don't bother with affiliate link because i get paid like five cents <laughs> because i don't want you to buy anything that would pay me a lot of money there's too much margin in this other crap and the domains uh are really good there though so that's who i'd probably recommend for buying the domain and then redirecting to a uh, cloudflare for your dns and uh, a traditional host if if you're not doing like uh, christitis.com runs on hugo and static sites so i'm able to distribute all that through uh, a cdns so everything that you see on my website is all static so it's all just like html and uh, that's why it works so fast so that's my view on it just buy the domain at namecheap host your dns at cloudflare you just point the name servers to your cloudflare register it Boom, that's good. And if you want a like super fast site that beats every single big business in existence, host it right there on Cloudflare using Cloudflare Pages. And I like to use Hugo and uh, that for my static site generator. Oh, chef's kiss. You can't get any better than that. Uh, however, if you do want to do like a WordPress or something like that, you can do that as well. You could redirect it to a bunch of, I just hate WordPress. I mean, I don't even want to give you guys recommendations. You know, I'm not even going to give you a recommendation for WordPress because you shouldn't be using WordPress. <laughs> Although if you, if, if you twist my arm, probably like WP engine, if I had to choose them, they're not horrible, but do better. Don't, don't use WordPress. <laughs> Thoughts on serverless. Ah, yeah, I mean, oh, Jekyll, yeah, Hugo, a Jekyll clone, I, I think it's a little different from Jekyll. I, I'm not huge into web development. I just kind of dip my toe in from time to time. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting Chris Titus dot tech. Who's, who's going to go like type in a dot tech address? That's like getting a dot XYZ. That's like getting a dot zip. Like, come on. Everyone's just going to use dot com. Let's get real here. What are you doing? If you're buying a bunch of domains, you're just wasting money. Can uh, you show us how many people use WinUtil by showing endpoint hit rate? Maybe. Maybe. Um, let me log into my site. I'm going to got to put up the shield for this one. Look at me. You know, not going to dox my myself today. As, well, I'll probably end up doxing myself later, but I'm not doxing myself right now. <laughs> okay. So the website right now gets roughly, this is the last 24 hours, get roughly 270,000 requests every day. Data transfer rates, only 27 gigs, page views, 80,000. Um, of those requests, let's see, uh, the last 24 hours is 23,000, uh, 40, uh, or is that 400, whatever. 23,000 uh, redirects on the win. So quite a few people are using that, I'd say.
My husband has stared at me for the habit of buying cheap domains in various projects. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I've done it. You know, honestly, it's it's only 10 bucks here and there or five bucks or whatever. It's just usually if I'm doing it, I usually only snag the dot coms. Sometimes I'll grab a weird domain, but for the most part, I, I only try and do dot com. Uh, back in for testing pages. So usually what I do uh, for my website, let's just jump over to my website. Let's do a poll. So I have a Git repository. And then anytime I do a commit to that repository, it builds it. But let's say I want to do something new. I already have a couple projects that I'm, I'm working on right now and I haven't finished my video. I like to just do like a server FD. So it does future pages, anything set in the future. And it does draft pages with the, this thing. You don't have to put that. You can just put this and it'll just do, and it basically be what the website looks like now. So if you go localhost, 1330, you can see this is what I've done right now. But watch how this changes, and it can change in real time. Let's cancel that. But this time, let's go future host FD. And let's just give a refresh. You can see there's a couple other posts here. Like if we wanted to remove uh, system D, this is something I've kind of been starting to workshop and switching over to OpenRC instead on Debian. It's actually a pretty easy process, and I started kind of... Uh, documenting it and creating like little cheat sheets for a video I'm going to do. Um, you can do this. And I was like, okay, cool. And then I was like, okay, how, what are the different variations? And I think I ripped this from like arch wiki and some other stuff. And then I wanted also to grab the services. So when you want to create like an open RC service, you could easily copy this template and then do all that. So as I do this, let's say it's a removing system D is the title. Uh, let's just do it in real time, or actually, let's show you in real time. Uh, let's go over to website, and we're going to use Vim, because we're just that cool. Um, pull it up. We're going to go system D, removing system D, and let's say I wanted to add something below there, so I'm going to go, this is cool, and I have it auto-save. Boom! So you see it right there up on the website as I'm editing over here. So it's a really intuitive workflow. So it's super fast. I'm literally scripting a video, creating a web page and doing it all in one workflow. So I'm able to do like 10 people's job and get everything just done super, super quick. And uh, yeah, not even lose anything. And it's just so fast. And then as soon as I do a push, I'm on to the next thing. So works really well. But anyways, that's that's my workflow for doing that. Um, a really neat way to manage a website and host a website all through Cloudflare. And that's how I'm able to uh, spend no money on my website. So you see how much requests, visits I get, page views, data transfer. How much money do you think I pay for something like this? Now, I was originally using Netlify and then it just got too expensive. I was getting up to like $100 a month. I was like, okay, that's I'm not making enough money to pay for this. That. I pay $0 for all of this. <laughs> I mean, that's quite the loophole, don't you think? <laughs> uh, yeah. Cloudflare pages. I don't know what Cloudflare is doing, but... Thanks. <laughs> that's that's a hell of a legit chip. I mean, that's a lot of traffic. That's a lot of data. That's a lot of services. And I don't pay a dime. Yeah, they are burning money. That is so like, hey, we just want to get you in the, the door kind of thing to get you over here. Uh, get you away from Netlify. Because Netlify was, uh, I think, is still the market leader. <laughs> So I've been using it for about a year now, six months to a year. So, yeah. Yeah, and I don't have that much data to load. It's still kind of shocking how much data I push out and how many views I get. I think it's mainly because most websites just suck today. Like, they just bloat them down with just tons of ads and, and garbage. 
but yes, they will. They will eventually go, Hey, we need some money. Like that's going to happen. Like let's let's, there's no qualms about it. I don't think this is going to be a free ride forever on Cloudflare. Sometimes I'm like, I feel kind of bad for Cloudflare, but then I'm like, wait a second. There's some businesses that spend literally tens of thousands of dollars per month on Cloudflare freaking load balancing. I I don't feel that bad. <laughs> so yeah, uh, there's there's that. It's a neat little neat little uh, cheat for to now. Yeah, right now it's uh, completely unlimited for for the data. And everything gets scraped on a website. Public websites gonna get scraped, and there's nothing gonna be sh shared anyways. Then the beauty of static sites is there's no real input fields. So if you go to chris.x.com, there's nothing to really input or log in as. Um, it's just just not there. So cool, very cool. <laughs> uh, there is no data layer. It's kind of hard to attack a website that's got zero attack surface. <laughs> but how will you track user engagement? I don't. Like to me, here, here's here. So here's my end goal. You know, obviously, I don't, I don't. There's still some money on my site that I make. Like if I take off ads, I have an anchor ad down here from Google because the best RPMs and and rates are on anchor ads. So. If you want to leave that on, cool. I mean, but I mean, I, I'd, I'd venture to guess almost 80% of chat uses an ad block. So, you know, I don't really have an ad block, but you can use a U block. Or if you use Brave, you can just click that on and you never see the ad. Um, but that that pays me a little bit. And shoot, let's see. How much money am I making? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go pull it up. How much money am I making off of all that? All that sweet, sweet views on ChrisTitus.com. I'm about to retire soon, guys. I've made four dollars and twenty-eight cents so far today. Eight dollars yesterday. The past seven days, sixty dollars. This month, a hundred and forty dollars. Take my family out to dinner tonight. Oh yeah. So yeah, there's not a whole lot of money to be made from like AdSense and stuff. the The bigger thing is just going through here and having a a presence outside of YouTube to where people can find me through uh, organic search, read an article, and then go, you know what? I want to actually see what this guy's doing, and watch a video or get redirected to YouTube this way. That way I'm not like completely at the mercy of YouTube's algorithm, which hasn't been too favorable for me lately. Um, or sometimes some, you know, I have a video that just doesn't do well. I like having this avenue to where it's not algorithm based. It's more of, Hey, I'm making a good video and I know people are going to search that whether it's Google, whether it's Bing, whether it's whatever, it's going to show up and I'm going to rank pretty high because I don't have a whole bunch of crap on my website and people will find me that way and I'll still get views. I'll get my little couple bucks off of Google ads since I'm a website and then some people will click here and go to YouTube and maybe they watch an ad over there. I might get a couple bucks from that. So you see it. It's kind of like this never ending, uh, thing where it's just it's little things here and there but when you're just a single person it adds up to enough to where i'm like hey this this is working pretty good so i i'm liking it <laughs>